Hello, beautiful people of the world. Um, today I wanted to try something that I haven't done in a while on this channel, but sometimes I do channelings of different animals or the earth. Um, I wanted to tap into the earth today and to share whatever it has to say. Um, I know that for me and I think for a lot of people the earth has been changing so rapidly and there's this urgency within humanity and this fear that is present and it has been for a while but it's just um it's been really difficult for a lot of people all over the world there are so many terrible things happening um, environmentally and with violence and it's been a lot on my mind and energy um, just as an empathetic person who lives in the world you know it there's a lot going on right now um, so I just wanted to tap into the earth and see what messages come through so <clears throat> um. there is a disturbance in the life force energy in which we all share there is no separation between me and humans, and trees, and animals, plants, the sky, the space, we are all one of the same. So to hurt and to struggle means that we all must, including the earth, including humans, there is a turbulence within. Many energies are bringing their influence in, in powerful ways and in destructive ways. And they are shifting the frequency. The very vibrations have been distorted in such a way that is profound, but also destructive in nature. And so I must respond with my own destruction in hopes that this mirrored experience will create the specific energetic response needed to change the way that things are going because they can't continue to go on like this any longer. I think <sighs> to move forward is to be present and to be real and to get out into nature as much as you can, whatever is remaining here. Um, the earth has so much love for everything, always. And it, it hurts to be going through all of this with all of you. However, <laughs> Humanity is such a small part of this process and the earth has and will go through so many changes infinitely, <laughs> um, much longer than we can even understand as people. But that doesn't mean that our lives are not important right now. And it doesn't mean that the things that we care about and what we are passionate about are not important right now. And the people in our lives, um, you know, we can't do this alone. 
we are all meant to be connected. And when we can all start really seeing that within each other, with every person that we meet, and with the planet and with the animals, we'll know what it truly means to be alive on Earth. Although this may not happen in a lot of our lifetimes, I think that we are creating a better future, I hope. Those of us that are holding love and energy and trying to treat each other kindly and, and the planet and trying to heal and grow and learn here still and to not give up. I think it's more important than any of us realize and we might still not for a bit, um, but it's important not to give up. There's an infinite amount of futures available and possible on this planet. And that is a gift to each and every one of us. Um, so, it's important to remember to ground yourself and really feel the energy of the earth within who you are because this is where we are right now. Even if our souls are in a million places, right here, right now, we are here on Earth and we are human. <laughs> Whatever that means is very powerful. So it's easy to escape into the ethers and to forget to ground I, I have that as well, but I think the earth is here for us. It feels so strongly to me, it's there for us. Um, and just allowing yourself a moment to connect with that energy that is ever present, as long as we're here for like on this planet, our whole lives, we will know that the earth is love and chaos and beauty and infinity and mystery ever changing a miracle and we're a part of that for however long and I think there's something very comforting in that, even though things are still crazy and it's gonna be difficult to get through a lot of the energies that are coming through. Um, I think it's important to remember that we can always go out into nature and, and take a walk and just sit and breathe for a moment and hopefully things make sense again, even for a moment. Um, yeah okay that's all i have to say um i'm sending so much positivity and light and heart energy green energy to everyone watching this and in general in the world um so okay <laughs> um thank you for watching um i I'm working on November forecast, but um, let's just say October has been crazy. <laughs> it's eclipse season. Um, so yeah, that is hopefully the next plan for a video. Bye.